Hi everyone, um, as promised, I'm going to show you how to make that Google Sheet that helps you uh, how, that helps you dispatch uh, your drivers. So if you don't know how to get to Google Sheet, it's very easy. You go to your email. So I'm going to go to my emails, and here by your picture, there's this few dots. You click here, and you go to Google Drive. Google Drive opens up, and you hit my drive see this little arrow and you go to Google sheet right here you go back to the arrow here and the blank spreadsheet now this is your Google sheet okay so with this Google sheet it's online you can share it with people that's the most important thing about it now first things first we're gonna create tabs three tab tabs so this one it's very important we're gonna name this one worksheet and we're going to create two more one and two so this one we're going to call it data and this one we're going to call it archives perfect first thing is to get our data so we need the list of our drivers here okay so this is how it goes. The first column, which is A1, we're going to put drivers. Those are the labels of our columns. Phones. Here you can put your MC number, truck number, trailer number, equipment. What kind of trailer is that? And we put hometown. It's very important when you dispatch, you have to know where your guys live. And brokers. Okay. And here, you can put first name, last name. You can just stick with first name. And I'm just going to make it quick. So I'm not just going to go crazy with the names. So here, John, David, Frank, Alex. And the phone numbers, I'm going to go 555. Okay, I'm going to drag this. It's going to add one for each. So different phone numbers. MC123. Those are the MC numbers. And the truck number. 12, 13, 14, 15. Trailer. Five, six, and go on. Okay, we'll do the phone here. Fifty-eight and two hundred. This one is a van. Van, flatbed, and reefer. Hometown, Chicago. Milwaukee. Dallas Houston and the brokers actually have a list of brokers um, you can just build your own or copy and paste from anywhere but I have a I have a quick mix here I'm just gonna paste it but these are the fabrically arranged brokers okay so my list here is ready this is my database this is where information is gonna come from then we're gonna go to worksheet right here and same thing so we're gonna call this what is it a worksheet I make it to just worksheet dispatch just work sheet you can name it anything you want that's not very important I'm not gonna go too much on the design for now because I don't want the video to be super long so we're gonna come to row 8 or any any row any row you want so I'm gonna start here the labels of my columns drivers phone MC truck number trailer 
one more thing here. I wanna sure. I wanna add um, let's insert one in the left here. It's very forgot to mention. I, I want this first one to be empty. I'll tell you guys later why. Okay. Start from B, from row B. So a trailer equipment. Empty time location destination status rates from to broker front deadhead. Uh, loaded miles all miles and back that head a rate per mile load number if you don't want some of this info you don't have to put it in there but uh, this is ideal so load number and this we're gonna put we're gonna call it action you don't see it because I'm gonna I hide it this is how we color code the sheet but you not we're gonna hide it when we're done with it uh, hometown okay so my labels are ready okay so I'm gonna go here do a little design Go and make it uh, something like that. All right, cool. Not a great color, but it'll do for now. Okay, so from here we're gonna go to this row here. From here, I don't know if you want it to be ten. Let's just do ten here from uh, row nine. Let's just do it. Well, let's do thirty to thirty. Is that here and you go to data validation click on data and data validation right here and then from there you write this code you go here you're gonna put data Capital A, comma, A. And you save. Okay, so the little things here. Now your drivers, you can see your drivers in the drop down menu. Okay, cool. Uh, I didn't want to do this one. So data validation, and I'm going to remove, I'll just remove this one. The first one, uh, leave it alone, guys. This one, let's not touch it because we're gonna put a bunch of code in there. All right. Uh, now, under phone number, we're gonna write this code. It's a little long, but I'm gonna explain it and I'm gonna put it on the description so you can just copy it and paste. So click in here and come up here and put this code right here. Here, formula. So basically what this does, it tells you like you need to fill out this form from B9 till B, here we need B30. So we're just going to come here and we'll do B30. And, it, and it's coming from data, which is this sheet here. And it's coming from rows A to H, which is where we put all the data. And this is important. So this tells it, get the info from column number two, which is, this is column number two. This is column number one, and this is column number two, which is the falls. Okay. Actually, I don't want to take that. There we go. We're good. So we're going to take this, and we're going to copy it. So you don't type it again. And you come here, under MC, you do the same thing, paste. But this time, you don't want column two, you want column three, right? So you can make it three. And then, let's see. So MC is three. One, two, three. 
truck is four, five, six, and seven. So I'm gonna come back here, truck, and we're just gonna paste, and then we're gonna change this to four. Okay, and then trailer is what? Trailer is one, two, three, four, five. Trailer is five. Paste, and we're gonna move this. We're gonna put five. Perfect. Equipment is what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Equipment is six. Paste, and six. Looks good. Now we got an issue here. Yeah, I think I put in the wrong spot. Uh, well, let me just rewind. I put six in here. All right, looks good. Empty time. We got one more, which is the home time, right? Whoa, hometown. So same thing here. Paste. And what's the hometown? Hometown is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're just gonna go here and put seven. Okay, looks good. And then here we're gonna put the date. Let's say this is for Monday. Monday. Sorry. Eight. 26 for example now make it a little bigger and I am good perfect now I'm going to do a little box this thing and we're going to test it in a minute okay good it's coming along so this is the, what we're going to do here is going to put a date. So 0826. I'll tell you guys later. It's very important. This is how we archive it. So I'm going to copy this and paste. Okay. When you do that, then you can hide it. Good. Now this column 2, we're not going to use it for now. Action, we're going to hide it too. Hide this column. Cool. Let's test this app, this application now. And number nine, you hide it as well. This column, where we put all the codes, you hide it. You don't need it. So hide it. You do need it, but you don't want to mess with it, so we hide it. Now let's pick our first driver, David. Boom, we got all the info. Hometown, is it there? Yep, Milwaukee. Second driver is Frank. Cool. Third driver, all your info is there. Okay, that ends this video. Next video, we're going to go, I'm going to show you how to uh, color code these things. So, uh, basically, the status of each job. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much.